Okay, you guys, so I just wanted to hop on here really quick and talk about Miss Dorit and PK from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and this whole thing about them being robbed. A lot of people are talking and saying that they don't think that this robbery was a real thing. And I have to say, after watching the episodes thus far, Mm, I'm kind of leaning towards that as well. A couple of things with this. I don't know anybody that's been robbed that would, first of all, as rich as they are, I don't understand why she didn't charter a plane or he didn't charter a plane to come back home that morning as early as he possibly could have. You cannot convince me that the earliest time he could have got out of London or wherever, wherever he was was the next night almost 24 hours later that to me was the first red flag the next red flag was the fact that the next night like everybody is saying she left her kids at home to go to Kyle's house now the thing that strikes me and I, I haven't heard a lot of people say this is the fact that these women already went to go see her the next morning when they found out that she was robbed Kyle went Erica went Lisa Renna went and I believe that, and um, probably, what's the girl's name that was on the show um, last year? Teddy. Teddy went. They went that morning. So what was the point of you going to Kyle's house that evening? To get on camera and talk about the robbery? Like, if it were me, everybody handles things differently. I totally understand that. I just think I would need some time to kind of process what happened, to process the fact that there allegedly was a gun held to my head while my kids were in the other room, completely unaware of what was happening. I need time to process the fact that my husband wasn't here and I went through this traumatic experience by myself. I need time to even go back to the place that the robbery transpired. Like, I don't think I could even stay in the house for some time. And the simple fact that not only did she stay in the house until the next morning because the women went over there to be with her, but she left her kids to go to Kyle's the next, that very next night. Like she wasn't that concerned. And then we see on the latest episode that they had, I believe episode three or four or maybe two, and I was like three, episode three, we see that um, she and PK are talking about it. And throughout the whole conversation, homegirl has a little smirk on her face. And he's talking about, oh, the LAPD is going to use the full force that they have to find the people who've done it. And we ain't found them people who've done it yet. I just don't know. It's just it's just giving me, mm, I'm not so quite sure about you guys' vibes. And then he was making light of the, of the fact that they didn't steal the major jewelry. I think he called it like, this wasn't like a Pink Panther or something like that robbery. This was like, oh, they only took like $60,000, a $60,000 watch and a little bit of stuff over here, like her purses or whatever. It wasn't even that big of a deal. So I'm looking at him like, are you inviting them back to your house to do the same thing? Like, I'm confused. I'm totally confused. But yeah, I just had to share what I felt as it related to that because I don't know, it's just been bothering me and I just wanted to share it with you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.